These signature arches here have been part of the Dallas skyline for almost two years now, but the pedestrian bridges on both sides of the freeway that those arches hold up, they've never opened. They are structurally unsafe. Tonight we found out how much more the Margaret McDermott Bridge will cost you, the taxpayer. Here's David Goins. It's on a picture perfect Sunday when you really see how much we like to get out in Dallas. My husband and I, the family, come out here just to get some exercise, get the dog out. Amber Harris and Lola are regulars along the trails lining the Trinity River, trails that abruptly end at the foot of another almost amenity. I was aware of it, but I don't really think of it too much, to be honest. She's talking about the Margaret McDermott pedestrian bridge. It's attached to the side of I-30, and since its completion two years ago, has never opened. Engineering experts say it's too unsafe that the cables that support the weight of the $115 million pedestrian bridge vibrate too much. It's frustrating, of course, having, you know, money put into something that's just sitting there. And it may sit there even longer, even as the city of Dallas thinks it might have a solution to replace all the cables, a nearly three year project costing another $7 million more in taxpayer funds. It doesn't feel like it's being managed properly. Council member Philip Kingston says he never supported the McDermott Bridge project to begin with and doesn't know if spending more money on a pedestrian bridge few even know about is the right move now. Is this boondoggle spending leads to more boondoggle spending. You've already put money into it, it's just sitting there. It might be better to actually have it use, being used. In the meantime, Amber says she'll take advantage of the outdoors she can access, knowing an intended perk for Dallas walkers and bikers may still be years away from becoming a reality. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.